authority to the president for a line budget and so forth and so on. Yun, as early as January, na foreseen na nila na i-address na nila yung pandemic. Eh, yung unang kaso sa Pilipinas, I remember yung Wuhan Tocol. That was March or February at ay. Naunahan pa nila yung yung unang-unang COVID case. Nanticipate nila. Ginawin ko, ha? To formulate and implement guidelines and contributions and benefits for stability of benefits, cost containment and quality assurance in healthcare provider arrangements, payment methods, again, payment methods and referral systems. Yung po yung nakasahid sa matas. Apa, during the last hearing, Atorne Del Rosario said in this hearing, The Charter of Field Health that authorizes the Field Health Board or the Corporation to implement or track policies in connection with providing payment mechanism and with the declaration of public health emergency and with the provisions of Bayanihan Act to heal as one, the Board has decided that Field Health has to devise a financing mechanism that will help sector to combat the pandemic crisis. Ito po bang payment mechanism ay pareho ng financing mechanism. Uh, kahit sino naman po makikita na pag, ang malaki ang pagkakaiba ng term, ano po ba? Hindi po ba? Magka, magkaiba po yung payment mechanism sa financing mechanism. So yung payment method nyo, no, 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 eh pwede sabihin sa payment mechanism. Pero yung financing mechanism, iba po yun, ano po? Opo, iba po. Right. Now, kayo po ba, ang Bill Health po ba has the power to finance any health case provider? Hindi po. Kasama sa mandate, ano? Tama po, ano? Ang mandate po ng Bill Health ay magbayad po ng health services. Correct. So, it is not within your mandate to finance. Hindi po. Hindi po means that you are doing is an ultra-virus act, kung tawagin, ano, ano mga abogado? Mr. President? Uh, okay. Baka ako pwedeng ipaliwanag niya ito ni uh, uh, Del Rosario because of the uh, technical nature of the question. Kapusin ko na rin muna para sa masagot ni Atty. Del Rosario sapagkat siya ay uh, nabanggit dito. When the minority leader, Senator Frank Villon, ah, if they rendered on your advance payment mechanism. The attorney Del Rosario then at first said that there was none. But eventually, he changed his answer saying that there was. Tinitignan po namin lahat sa journal ng mga sinasabi ko rito. Can you provide the committee with that legal opinion and read some highlights of it so that the others who are watching or listening to this hearing will be apprised as well? Kasi po, meron kayong hinihingi. Sige po, kasi... May, may uh, respond, uh, Mr. President. Uh, uh, provider payment mechanism. PhilHealth is a healthcare financing institution. We are, we are uh, a social health insurance agency. Social health insurance is one way of financing healthcare. Senator the Tolentino, go ahead. Resource person to refrain from uh, lecturing this uh, Senate panel because uh, we already know that this, uh, this committee is part of the Congress structure uh, that not that you're trying to explain. So, complicate that you answer directly the question uh, propounded by the Senate President. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm just uh, giving a background on Mr. the President, answer that I'm trying to... The Vice Chairman is very good. Yes, let's go to specifics, uh, Attorney Del Rosario. Yes, sir. I think the law, no? Opo. But lahat ng bata, implementing guidelines, implementing rules and regulations. That is correct. Ang tanong ni Senate President, ano naging basis sa issuance noong IRM? Kasi for every circular issued by PhilHealth, meron pinanggagalingan yan. Specifically for Ondoy, for Marawi, for Yolanda, for Taal. And recently, and the latest, itong COVID-19. Ano naging basis noong Circular 2020-0007? Uh, Mr. President, the basis of our circulars is a board resolution. Yes. Uh, passed by the uh, 
So the management requested on January 30, 2020, include the IRM among the special privileges uh, to be conferred to healthcare providers to ensure that our members will continue to have health access to healthcare services. And so, when the IRM for COVID-19 was issued or implemented by management, despite the authority given under January 30 PBR 2.96, the management deemed it proper to submit to the board for, for ratification the use of IRM for COVID during COVID pandemic because of the magnitude of the amount of structure. Mr. President. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Um, President. Yes. Um, if, kung tama yung sinasabi ninyo na covered na yun nung January resolution nyo, ba tinulit nyo pa ng March? Uh, it, Mr. President. Eh, after we have already used it as the legal basis. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Senator, uh, no. as mentioned in our, as, men, as uh, indicated, stated in the minutes of the meeting on March uh, 31, uh, it was because of the magnitude of the amount to be released that the management deemed it proper to seek ratification or confirmation by the board of the releases of the IRM. In fact, when it was presented on March 31, there were already releases made uh, to government and private facilities. Attorney, ang 1 peso at 1 billion, pareho rin yun eh. Yun ang uh, pananaw ng mga kababayan natin eh. So, hindi ganun kadali yun eh. Yung legal opinion na sinasabi ninyo, now, um, that you have presented to this committee before and you are now uh, saying, and Attorney Galusario also saying, um, ang tingin po namin tuloy, Talaga, we can only surmise that there is really something wrong with this IRM or Interim Reimbursement Mechanism. Kahit hindi po abogado ang tumingin, um, I am certain that the COVID-19 uh, cannot be equated to Ondoy and Marawi Siege. You know? And other healthcare uh, or, no. There were actual losses experienced by the hospital and other healthcare institutions due, the, due to the fortuitous events uh, sinatawa, you know, during the two instances. Kaya yung real sense of reimbursement, e eh, pwede talaga. However, the current implementation of your RRM, Advanced Payment for COVID-19 Affected Hospitals, is another thing. Yun po ang punto eh. Now, uh, we, we, in, we agree that the intent of the IRM is notable, but it won't stop the Senate from casting doubt dahil dito sa mga nakikita natin yan. Now, with that, how did the board come up with the amount of 27 billion as the fund allotted or allocated for the IRM? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. In other words, what you're saying, uh, uh, Dr. Susi, is that walang authorization from the board, yung March 20, 2020 issue 1, yung IRM 2020-0007, walang authority from the board. There was a board meeting, I'm not sure what date the board meeting was, where it was discussed, but we were informed. This Only was not, informed? We were just informed and we were asked to endorse it. And you, you were asked to endorse, but you did not ratify or adopt a resolution. Resolution because the board resolution came after. Yes, sir, that yeah. is correct. So, walang authorization from the board. Yung IRM, uh, yung circular 0007 dated March 20. You were just informed. Yes, sir. That they would implement. Yes, That's sir. another an another thing, you know. It's implementation. We noticed na yung past issue one says, Mr. President, if I may, uh, yung date ng implementation or dissemination comes immediately after the issue ones. Can you flash on the screen? Past issue one says, ano, pag tayong either on the same day or the day after, lumalabas yung uh, dissemination or yung implementation. Pero in this particular case, it came a month after yung uh, dissemination, April 22 na disseminate eh, yung um, uh, IRM yung 0007, March 20 now, in an effort to justify the date, in antidate nila to March 21 but the date of the dissemination 
was on April 22. April 22, 7, March 20. Now, in an effort to justify the date, in anti-date nila to March 21. But the date of the dissemination was on April 22. Kasi marami na sa nilang releases, ano? Uh, prior to March 31, for resolution, yung 2515, nakapag-release na yung PhilHealth ng 703 million pesos. Actually, 703 million six hundred sixty one thousand six hundred forty eight point seventy nine and then prior to april twenty two ang na release ang fund releases ng field health mas malaki pa umabot ng nine point two nine or nine point three billion pesos so in effect hindi pa na disseminate ang tanong ko ngayon mr president anong guidelines meron yung mga magre-release ng pondo, yung mag implement yung regional vice presidents, kung wala pang na yung implementing guidelines or what they call SOP. Kasi nag i sila ng SOP, nandun yung parameters, nandun yung guidelines, how to disperse, how to make a list, how to, you know, all the guidelines are there. So how could they release without implementing guidelines or what they call SOP? That's my question, Mr. President. Thank you. And uh, who would like to answer that question? Uh, Mr. Chairman. What would have justified the release of 703 million and 9.3 billion? Uh, uh, sir, Mr. Okay. President, may yeah. I? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. President, uh, members of the Senate. Um, as a background, in January 2020, we were in a state of uh, anxiety because we knew that COVID was coming. We knew how it uh, hit uh, the other countries. And so we were in uh, a state of panic. So we wanted to be preemptive, to take preemptive measures. Uh, to be able to prepare our hospitals to respond to this pandemic, which we did not know at that time how soon, how hard, and how long it was going to hit us. Now, uh, the computation of the, uh, the board, of course, has to rely on management for figures because the figures lies with management. And uh, the algorithm we adopted was for the to use the 90-day historical claim of the hospital as the basis for the IRM allocation. So it is not arbitrary. And what we wanted to achieve was to prepare all the regions, the provinces and the cities with a uh, COVID war chest that would prepare them to respond to the pandemic now, in the administration of this effort, uh, there were some, I must admit, some expedients that had to be adapted because hindi ho natin alam kung gaano katindi ang gagok nitong COVID. Nagmamadali kami makarelease ng pera. But we made sure that all the releases were covered by a contract and that we would be able to account for all the funds that were available. We were getting a lot of uh, of uh, uh, rescue uh, entreaties from hospitals that they had to buy PPEs, they had to buy disinfectants, they were worried about their workforce. So yun hu yung situation early this year when all this was happening. Ang intention hu ng PhilHealth ay maunahan hu yung COVID, uh, yung pandemic. Yun po. Thank you.